Hey you guys, Tanel here and I'm back with another video. If this is your first time joining me, a welcome. If you're an OG, thanks for tuning in today. And if you guys can see, it's all about these passion twists. Passion twist is so on trend and it's the latest trend in twists and crocheting here. And I was approached by the company, the same company who um, asked me to review their mannequin head. And if you haven't seen that video, please make sure you click the link above and it will be take you directly to that video. But the, the same company who wanted me to review the mannequin head reached out to me again the second time to review their hair. They asked me was I interested in patch and twist. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, and you guys should be following me on Instagram. Duh. Tanel26 on Instagram. Well, anyway, they asked me if I wanted to review their passion twist hair. And like I said on Instagram, I was telling um, my followers that I wanted either to do some passion twists, some kinky twists, some jumbo twists, something like that. And when I received the email, I was like, yes. Thank you, God. Always on time. I didn't have to spend my coins on the hair. And I was, you know what I'm saying, get a chance to share with you guys and review with you guys this hair and let you guys know about it if you was interested as well. See the hair from this company on Amazon called Sammy Sue Hair. And like I said, it they reached out to me in regards to reviewing that mannequin hair. And then they reached out to me the second time to review this hair for Passion Twist. What I received, and like I said, you guys need to be following me on Instagram because I did a unboxing on Instagram. But I received six packs of hair. In each pack of hair, there are 20 pieces of hair to twist with it. There is 18 inches long. It's 100% uh, Cacalon hair. I received the color 1B. It's natural black. Uh, like I said, it's 18 inches long. Um... Normally, uh, for a normal size hair, six packs um, will work, and it was more than enough for me. They re also they sent me over in the bundle pack um, some little gifts. I received um, some clips, some hair clips, um, a little mirror. It's like a button on one side, mirror on the other. Also received some um, little hair accessories to go along with it. Before we get into the tutorial, I'm going to share my thoughts really quick on this hair. Okay. <clears throat> so in regards to the hair, the hair is very soft, soft to the touch. It does not tangle, it does not tangle easily, I should say. You do get a little bit of tangling, of course, because it's Kekalon hair, but it does not tangle um, easily. So I didn't waste a lot of hair when I was installing it into my hair. Very natural looking. I like that about it. It looks very natural um, and it does not irritate my scalp. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> okay, you guys. So, that's all I have to say about the hair. Uh, please stay tuned. I'm going to show you how I installed it. I installed it using two methods. And in the brochure of here, it tells you two different methods. You can do this hair. You can do... Um, I did two methods um, when I installed the hair. You, I did the braiding method, which I did the rubber band braiding method at the front and in the back perimeter of my hair. And then in the center, I did crochets. Um, which, when you want to do the crochet method, you can either um, two strand twist it beforehand and then install it, or you can install it and then twist it. It, you will see I did both methods in, in regards to the crochet method. Some was already pre-twisted because I initially um, did the just the braiding method, but it was slipping out of my hair and it just wasn't working right for me. I was kind of in a rush trying to install it um, because I was on my way to drop my daughter off. Uh, from school so when I came back I reinstalled it the second time and I did the crochet method in the middle like I stated and around the front perimeter and the back perimeter just in case if I want to do a updo it will um, it will be free it will look more natural and more natural in the front as well 
Also, I want to mention when doing the passion twist. Okay, let me find it. And so, as you can see, these two twists look totally different. And um, the reason why it looks different, uh oh, it looks different is the way that you twist the hair. And I found out um, if I do overhand right, you're going to get this look. If I do left over hand to the right is going to give me this particular look so once again overhand right twisting it with the my right hand going over is going to give me this look if I do left hand over right it's going to give me this particular look and it's more wavy more crinklier i don't know why it comes out that way um, i did have the aid of my um, daughter when i did install it the first time and um, she also noticed it because i i took over once i got to the front um, because oh so you guys if you're interested in seeing how i installed this hair please stay tuned and you already know let's get on to the video get on to the video let's get okay first of all guys i want to say sorry because of the images is a little bit blurry but i got a new camera and i'm just not getting the hang of it but this is just my pattern of how i braided it and i left the front perimeter and the back perimeter out to do the rubber band method now this is the hair and like i stated in the in the beginning 20 pieces come in each um, pack and i am pulling each individual strand out and then i am just separating the ends to make it um, a fuller and I'm taking two of those strands and I'm adding them together because I wanted medium size passion twist and once that is um, together and separated the way that I like it I'm just gonna go ahead and do the traditional I mean crochet method where you slide the tool in at the hair loop it pull to secure and then i'm going to begin to twist and like i also stated in the beginning notice how i am braiding right hand over left and not left over right Now, once you get to the end of the twist, we're going to simply twirl it around our finger and we're going to take care of those ends later. And this is what the twist looks like up close, real nice and fluffy. Like I stated, if you do left hand over right, you kind of get a zigzag method. So we're just going to continue doing the same thing. And like I stated to you guys in the beginning, you can take a... Um, a pole or some type and twist the hair on there first and then install it their traditional crochet method that you don't have to twist it while it's in your hair both ways both methods work so the choice is really up to you now for the front I am as you notice I have separated my hair and parted it and added the rubber bands and we're going to do the rubber band method up front now we're also going to do the same crochet method by using the latch hook or the crochet hook, inserting the hair. We're going to begin to twist right hand over left. I'm going to keep on saying that right hand over left. Okay, you may notice that the ends of my hair is showing and that's before but that's because I forgot to add some wax so you want to use some type of wax or extra hold that's good for your hair type gel reverts my end and it gets curly so I like to use a stronghold wax that's nice and thick um, Murray's has a great one this one that I purchased is okay but it got the job done I just want to make sure I coat my strands and then go ahead at the hair like I previously did and begin to two strand twist all the way down and that way my hair is pretty much blended 
Now once I completed installing all the hair, I'm going in with the mousse. You want to use alcohol free mousse and you guys, if you've been following me for a while, this is one of my favorites, the Vig Rose Curling Mousse or you can use the Waving Mousse, whichever one works. Um, I just like it because it holds the hair down and it gives the hair life. And then of course, I'm going to go ahead and lay these edges down. But you guys, the mousse, it really helps hold your natural hair inside with the uh, synthetic hair and it does not damage. And we're going to add a hair wrap to it just to make sure that it's laid, my edges are laid and all those things. And while that is setting and drying, I'm just going through and clipping some of those uh, raggedy ends and also the length of the twist, um, any hair that may be frayed throughout it. Now, once that is completed, we're going to remove this hair wrap. And you guys, this is the final look. All right, girls, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on my interpretation of passion twists or how I achieve my passion twist. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them down below in the comments section. Um, to purchase this hair in the description box, it's a little arrow, click that. All the information, everything that I use in this video will be listed down below. The links to this hair along with my Amazon shop. So you can shop this hair on my Amazon shop because I did purchase it from Amazon. And I do get a little bit of coins if you guys click the link or if you purchase this hair from my Amazon shop. I'm not getting anything affiliated from the company. Just sent this over this hair and sponsored this video for me. If you have not subscribed and you want to become part of the Kinky Girl team and you want to come and have fun along with me, Tanel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure you also turn on your post notification. That way you will be alerted anytime I upload a video. Please thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. Also share, share on all social medias, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, whatever get your girl's name out there <laughs> um, I try to give you guys easy tutorial that's on trend that's something that you can do at home that you don't have to spend a lot of money and that is something that's simple if I can do it you girls can do it is very very easy and I gave you two methods that was fairly easy for you to achieve if you don't know how to corn roll that you, that way uh, you may want to get someone to assist you to corn roll the middle part the perimeter part is strictly rubber bands braiding the hair or twisting the hair within your hair. Um, if you wanted to do the whole method that way all throughout your hair, feel free. If you want to do it fully corn roll with uh, crochets during the corn roll method, feel free to do that. All right, you guys, that's it. Um, thank you for watching. I love you guys for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye.